the shooter was able to kill nine people and injure 26 in less than a minute. And if we did not have police in the Oregon district and the thousands of people in the Oregon district enjoying their Saturday evening, what we could have had in the city. If, if Dayton police had not gotten to the shooter in under a minute, and think of that, 30, 26 injured, uh, nine dead, um, hun hundreds of people in the Oregon district could be dead today. Again, we don't know the thoughts of the shooter at this time. We know that he was wearing body armor and had high capacity magazines and extra magazines. People just started running. They started pushing us out the back door into the alley out the back because they didn't want us coming out the front because they didn't know where the shooter was or how many there was. We didn't hear shots when we were upstairs because of the music, but the people downstairs did hear the shots. There might be a fight every now and then. Um, nothing ever like this. I mean, Even if it is yeah. a fight, it's just a typical two people being drunk. One person bumps into another person. Someone wants to say sorry. The other person feels like the other person needs to say sorry. It's never anything as serious as this. I've never been pushed out of Newcombs. I've never been told to get out of Newcombs but the security guards in their selves were running around telling people to get out and just how everybody was acting you you knew that something was wrong and then when you and you came outside as soon as you hit the front street you seen the bodies and you knew that this was different you knew it's something that you never thought of experiencing never experienced wouldn't want anyone to experience